What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. Happy Easter to everyone out there. And today we got a special player to review. It's gonna be that 91 Evolution Rafa Marcus. If you guys don't know, yesterday, by the time I'm recording this video, they dropped the Rafa Marcus SPC. But with this card, the SPC, you can also put him into the Evolution. And he looking pretty decent. So we're looking at a card six foot on the height, medium high work rates. 3-star skin moves, 4-star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is mostly lengthy. 86 pace, 88 shooting, 86 passing, 83 dribbling, 92 defending, 95 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with. Dead bomb plus. Tiki Taka, long ball pass, block, jockey, slide tackle, and aerial all on basic. And then he has anticipate on plus, aka raccoon, which is a great play style to have on a CB. Now what's the camp style to get this evil Rafa Marcus? I feel like it's a shadow. You got to max out the defending, but you also got to boost up that pace because the physicality is looking absolutely A1 with 96 strength, 95 aggression. You don't need to touch that. Acceleration goes up to 95. Sprint speed goes up to 93. I do love that he has 80 agility, 80 balance, and 93 reactions with him having jockey on basic. The jogging on this card defensively should feel pretty nice. Now, Mr. Marcus is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Elements of God. And we're going to be using this card in a 3-4-2-1 formation. And he's going to be playing as a RCB right next to that Vieira and Chua Mini. Now, with this Marcus, a lot of people are playing him as a DM. But I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like as a CB, he works better because of the way his pace is, the way his defending and physicality is. I don't think 80 agility an 80 balance and 80 dribbling is high enough for a CDM role. You guys may disagree with me on that, but we're gonna test out this card in some foot champs and see if this evolution Marcus is, is meta or not. All right, here we go with game number one versus Hustle 8. Rafa Marcus, I do wanna say he's never been meta in FIFA in my opinion, so it's gonna be very interesting to see if this evolution is good enough or not. Test out the dribbling a little bit with the card. Not bad. And a good pass out the back as well. Ooh, he doesn't get the tackle there versus Mbappe. He doesn't win that tackle either, unfortunately. That was a great pass right there. He's going to win that header. He actually won that header over VVD. That was pretty nice. One on one versus Mbappe. Decent tackle, not bad. Doesn't win that tackle over Eusebio, unfortunately. Very nice interception. Great pass with the weak foot. I do like his turning. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And once again, a great pass. Very nice interception once again, y'all boys. Yo, his passing is A1. I will say that. Nice, great pass from Marcus to Beckham. Ooh, that is a clutch tackle from Marcus, man. Also, he did not commit a pen, so we move. Nice, great block. Back-to-back -back good blocks from the card right there. Great tackle, nice and clean versus Mbappe. Great stuff.
Nice pass once again. Very nice tackle to stop Mia Ham right there. See Marcus versus Henri right here on the one on one. Little wide ball and nice intercepts that very nicely. Catches up to the LBY. Nice. Good stuff. Very nice on stopping that pass right there. Oh, very nice on intercepting the clutch. Ooh, doesn't get the interception. I don't know what that animation was, man. Why wasn't he able to hold on to the ball? Very nice. Great physicality right there. All right, all right. Keeps on to the ball. Ooh, that was a clutch interception. What the heck? Never mind. That was not clutch from Marcus. What the heck was that, man? Why why did Marcus just fall to the ground? This game is absolutely horrible. Nice tackle versus Mia Ham. Nice, great step. Nice tackle versus best. Ooh, very nice, very nice defensively. Very nice tackle once again. Let's see if he's able to catch up to Griezmann. I mean, he does catch up to him, but he's not able to intercept the ball since he is only six foot. He's not at six four, six three, which is a little bit of an L in my opinion, but at least he was able to block that shot. Ooh, we're kind of tracking back. Marcus, very nice. Very nice. He does have 86 pace. That was a clutch interception because Timo Werner was through. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 91 Evolution Rafael Marcus. And as you guys can see, you get this evolution after you complete the 90 rated Golasso Hero SPC. So let's go ahead and check real quick how much is that SPC. That SPC is around 339,000 coins if you do it from scratch on the Xbox and PlayStation, 279,000 coins on the PC. And he's exactly four segments. So overall, should you complete this evolution? Well, I think he's a solid SBC for sure, or solid CB, I should say. The reason I didn't review the SBC earlier today, because I'm gonna be completely honest, a CB or CDM with 83 pace at this stage of the game screams mid to me. I might be in the minority on that, but I did not want to review the SBC because he looked pretty mid. But with the evolution, I saw he got a plus three on the pace and then a plus four in the physicality. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. This Marcus does look pretty interesting. So pros right off the bat is that he has medium high work rates, great work rates for a CB. Next pro is that he has four star weak foot, a very underrated pro. This card can definitely pass out the back with that 91 short pass, 95 long pass, 80 vision. He has long ball pass on basic and tiki taka. So playing out the back with either foot no issue whatsoever with this card. Next pro from the card is the pace, 86 pace. That plus three on the pace from the SBC to the evolution is massive. 87 acceleration going up to 95, 85 sprint speed going up to 93. This card never got Y ball, he never got LB wide. And then you combine that with the next pro, which is the jockeying. The jockeying is absolutely insane because he has 80 agility, 80 bounce and he has the jockey playstyle on basic and then you combine that with his body type and him being six foot that's just absolutely insane he's quick on his feet defensively next pro from the card is dribbling out the back his dribbling is pretty solid for a cb like i said i did not want to try out this card for cdm because i felt like you wouldn't get the best out of him from the cdm spot you know some people may disagree with me on that but cb is definitely his best position 80 agility, 80 bounce, 86 ball control, 93 reactions is solid enough 
for CB to dribble out the back, so that's definitely a pro for me. The next thing I did like from the card is the defending. Now, the defending is a little bit interesting because there's something from Marcus that doesn't stand out like the other top tier CBs. But if we are talking from a manual standpoint, like you manually selecting Rafael and Marcus and defending manually for him, he does a great job on intercepting the ball with the nine interceptions going up to 9 8. 93 defensive awareness, aka his defensive AI is very solid always at the right spot at the right moment defensively and the physicality is pretty solid as well 91 stand tackling going up to 99 96 strength and 95 aggression this card whenever he tries to tackle he wins the majority of chances there were a couple opportunities where marcus wasn't able to win the tackle i don't know if that's just the game being trash or marcus just doesn't have that force field and that's something i did want to touch about the card that this Marcus does not have that force field. Now, what I mean about force field, Van Dyke, Rio Ferdinand, Lucio, company, those CBs that literally you do not even have to select them and they defend for you. This Marcus, you do not get that. I do not care what anybody says. This Marcus does not have that type of sauce. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't rely on the force field from the top tier CBs, then and you're somebody that loves to manually select your defenders and defend the majority of time with you manually selecting them then you don't have to worry about that do i think this card is a top 10 cb in the video game no do i think he's meta and finally usable yes because let's be honest we've never gotten a rafael marquez in fifa that has been meta i'm sorry unless my memory is tripping i just don't remember ever getting a marquez usable at any stage of the game so this 91 hero chronicles evolution rafael marcus is gonna get thumbs up for me and he's gonna get a rating of a 8.5 out of 10 solid option at this stage of the game but at the same time there are way better cbs at this stage of the game thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing let me know in the comment section down below if you guys complete this evolution or if you guys are saving your evolution for a different spc the next video I'm going to go ahead and drop today, Sunday, is going to be a Golasso icon, Bobby Charlton. That card looking absolutely insane. Enable those notifications if you guys haven't already. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.